Here we are then, so we're back. We're live from the beautiful Quebec in Turkey. My name's Callum Luke Weber, the Freedom Lifestyle Coach, and I'm excited to help you confidently close deals. And what I'm actually gonna be sharing with you today is very, very deep, okay? It could be really easy for me to be on this video right now. I could give you the best pitch. I could give you the best ways to handle objections. I can give you all of that, right? However, I could give you all of that and you could still make no money. You could still make no money in your business or your sales role. The reason being is because the key, and this is something that isn't spoken enough about when it comes to the, the sales industry and learning how to sell, is emotional intelligence. And it's also, if we rewind back to when we were at school, was emotional intelligence ever mentioned? So look, if you're an entrepreneur looking to create, inf- create freedom, make sure you stay tuned to this episode and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm actually going to be coming with you every single week with free episodes, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm going to be giving you free episodes to help you become a confident closer so you can make money and live your freedom lifestyle. So let's get into this. So emotional intelligence, like, like I mentioned, if we rewind back to when you were at school, like was emotional intelligence ever, ever spoken about? Okay, so then now if you're a business owner or you're a sales rep, as an example, or wanting to get into becoming a sales rep or business owner and you haven't had any, you haven't done any like personal development, any work on how to handle your emotions, then when it comes to sales, you're going to really experience it being a tough time. Like a lot of people say that that sales is really hard work. And for me, I just, I just love it. I absolutely love it. I'm so passionate about it. But look, I've gone on a crazy journey over the last seven years of going from someone that had no confidence growing up throughout school to now being someone that's able to interview millionaires, multi-millionaires, close deals over 20 grand, confidently close deals. I've sold over 1.5 million in sales revenue for a high ticket company. And I wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't work on my emotions. So I'm going to be sharing on this training three ways, three mindset sh- set shifts you need to have to crack down and work on your emotions so that you can be a confident closer. Because if you're someone that gets really emotional when it comes to business and sales, you're going to find that it's going to feel like a bit of a roller coaster. Because if I rewind back to when I first started in sales, it really did feel like a roller coaster. One day I was over the moon, I was loving life. And then I'd experienced a few days where I felt a bit low. I had no confidence. I, I, couldn't, I, couldn't, close a, I couldn't close the door, right? And that was all down to my, what was going on internally, what was going on in my mind because the majority of sales and business is just a mind game it's like a game of chess right so let's get into this so the three ways so number one when it comes to your emotions the thing that holds a lot of people back and myself included years ago was not being able to handle people saying no to you like let me ask you a question how does it feel when you're in a networking event or you're on a sales call and someone says no to you how does it feel does it hit you does it impact you Because it used to with me. I used to really struggle with that rejection when someone said no to me. I used to take it personally. But when it comes to selling and business, you need to learn how to handle these no's, right? You need to actually switch yourself from getting down. Because that's if you get down and get impacted when they say no to you, they're going to see it. They're going to sense that energy. And they're going to show that you haven't got confidence. Because when I get a no now, I've got so much confidence that I know because they've, I've sat with them for half an hour and they've told me all their pains, they've told me their desires, and, and I know that I could change their life. Even when they say no, I get excited about it because I know that I will be able to help them make a decision of moving towards doing it because I know I'll change their life. And because I've got so much confidence and energy about me, I am happy to them for them to say no because it's natural for when you've just met someone as an example and you're on a sales call with them, you've had an appointment with them, it's natural for them to be a bit sceptical. So you need to build that trust. You need to show that level of confidence, okay? And another point when it comes to people saying no to you is every time someone says a no, let's say you don't overcome the objection and they do say no, every time you experience a no, you're one step closer to a yes. Your one door, your one appointment, closer to a yes. So on the last uh, training, I actually shared about knowing your metrics, knowing your numbers. It actually links on really well to this. When you know your metrics and you know your numbers, let's say, for instance, it takes you 100, uh, let's say it takes you, I'll I'll give you a short example. Let's say it takes you 10 calls to close one deal, right? But on that deal, you make a grand commission or you sell a product or service as a, as a business owner, which is a thousand pound as an example, right? So every 10 appointments you have, you make 1,000 pound. What you could do is you've had nine no's. 
So out of them 10 appointments to make that grand, you've actually had nine people say no to you. And for someone that can't handle be someone saying no to them, then you might stop yourself. You might hold yourself back and you might not even sit any more appointments because of that, that no that you're getting. But if you do the maths, right, you are, you've had 10 appointments, they say, they say they take you an hour each appointment. It took you 10 hours to make a grand. So you divide a grand by 10. You've worked 10 hours. You've made £100 per hour. You've made £100 per no. So the next time you get no, get excited about it. You've just made 100 quid, right? It's a mindset set shift. Because if that no, if that ruins you, right? You might go into that appointment, which you could have closed, but because you've experienced, let's say you've experienced nine no's in a row, that can be quite brutal if you if you haven't got that emotional intelligence yet, right? Nine no's in a row. You might walk into that 10th appointment that you might be ready to buy, but because you've had nine no's and it's impacted you and your energy is now really low and you haven't got any confidence, you then go into that appointment and then you end up wasting that lead and they don't go ahead and they tell you they need to think about it, even though you could have closed them. You could have agreed with their objection, understood, asked a powerful question, and then went in for a close. But because you haven't been able to handle all them no's beforehand, it then costs you that deal. And then you've had 10 deals in a row and you haven't made any money. And then you're like, I need to quit. I need to quit my business. And your friends and family are telling you, you should just go get a normal job. You know, go back and get your nine to five, get your safety, get your safety net, right? Without them, without realizing that no, you don't need another job. You just need to master how to sell, master how to handle your object, uh, master how to handle your emotions. And that is why I'm so grateful for you staying tuned to my YouTube because what I'm going to be sharing with you over the next, well, as you continue on my on my journey, I'm going to be sharing free episodes every week for you. It's going to absolutely blow your mind and it's going to help you become a confident closer so you can make money and create your freedom. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, mind, mindset shift that you need to have to ha be able to handle your emotions when it comes to closing deals is the fact that when it comes to your prospects, they're all battling their own problems. They've got their own challenges. They've got their own securities, insecurities. They've got their own doubts. They've got their own skepticisms, right? So I touched on it a minute ago, but you cannot take anything they say personally. Do not take it personally. Them saying no to you, as an example, doesn't mean that they don't like you, right? Doesn't mean that they don't, they don't want to work with you. They might have just had some negative experience from another salesman, another business owner. They might have been stung in the past, right? They might just be a bit worried about investing that money because they're a little bit scared, right? So do not take it personally. As soon as you take it personally, because I've took it personally before, everything I share with you, let me tell you this, I've experienced every single emotion when it comes to selling. I really have. And that's why I'm sharing this with you. Because if you're new to, your, to the journey or you're a business owner and you've never learned about sales before and now you're, you've got an incredible business, you've got an incredible product or service, but you just can't close deals and you can't handle the, 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 the emotions, like that's why I'm so grateful to be able to help you specifically. So make sure you subscribe to this. However, when it comes to taking it personally, if you take it personally, you're going to end up being salty. You're going to end up being salty with them. And when you're salty with them, you're creating conflict, okay? You're showing them you, you, you're getting desperate and you can't handle it and you will not be able to close that deal. So you just need to understand that they're not saying it, they're not saying it to you to hurt you. It's their own things that they've got going on. So it's your responsibility to now increase their level of trust, okay? Increase the confidence in them. They've sat there and told you that they need it. Because you should not be pitching. I've actually did a training about it, about being a doctor uh, previously. So make sure you go back and watch all my videos if you haven't yet. But I, I was explaining to you about that you shouldn't be pitching people that, that you are not confident that you can change their life. And the only way that you'll be able to know that you can change their life is if you've followed the way I am, is being a, a doctor with them right? You wouldn't prescribe them the solution straight away, right? You get to know them. You get to know their pains. You get to know their desires. What do they want? Who else is it going to benefit? Really get to know them. And then at the end of that, once you're confident you can change their life, right? When you're confident, then you pitch. So then if you are getting, you know, objections at the end of it, you can push through it because they've sat there for half an hour and they've told you that they need you and you know you can help them, right? So do not take it personally. So number one, 
when it comes to sales is get excited about no's. Just get excited about it. Because every time you get a no, you're going to be one step closer to a yes. And a less experience uh, when it comes to emotional awareness, business owner of yours, like the business that you run or the business that you sell for, right? There's probably thousands of other businesses that are similar in the world. There's 8 billion people in this world. So why are they going to buy from you? And you've got to remember that there are a lot of business owners and sales reps that didn't learn how to sell at school that aren't watching content like this. So when it comes to a sales experience, as soon as they get a no, they give up. Whereas because you're going through my training right now, the next time you get a no, you're not going to give up. You're going to get excited about the challenge, right? So number two is do not take it personally. Now this mindset shift is absolutely critical if you want to start closing deals. Do not take it personally, okay? And finally, when it comes to objections, this is some serious emotional awareness right now. When it comes to objections, ask yourself, the objection that you keep getting at, that you keep getting, are you the one that believes it? Are you the one that when you're in a sales scenario, you use that objection? Is that what you use? Because usually the most common objections that people get are actually the objections that's consciously or subconsciously that they actually use themselves. Let's say you're someone that always needs to get free quotes, right? You're going to experience a lot of your prospects saying to you that they, they, that they need free quotes. And because you believe in that and because you use that yourself when it comes to sales scenarios, the problem with that, what's going to happen is it's going to start showing up. And when it shows up, you're not going to be able to handle it because you actually agree with them that they should, right? And yes, of course, you can still close deals when people get free quotes, of course. However, you've got a way less chance of closing consistent deals if every single prospect you meet goes and weighs and gets free quotes. Not only that, you're going to start becoming a lot more emotional because it's that uncertainty. Will they go ahead? Will they not go ahead? I've booked in all these different follow-up calls with people. You know, in your head, you're thinking, oh, I've got, I've got 10 follow-up calls this month. You know, I, I could, I'm, I'm on for a 10 grand month. And you get to the end of the month and all of them 10 follow-ups just ghost you and disappear. And then you've gone from thinking you were going to earn 10 grand in a month to then getting to the end of the month, you've made nothing. Because all you've had is just a bunch of empty promises and you haven't really got down to the root cause. Because if you were 100% sold in, if they were 100% sold in you straight away, they wouldn't need to get them quotes. They'd buy. So it's your duty, your obligation to make sure that when you get these objections, to make sure that you got to ask yourself, do I use these objections myself? Okay. I hope you've absolutely loved this training. I've gone really deep into the emotional side of sales, emotional side of business. I'm very grateful for you investing your time, investing your energy into this. Make sure that if you do have a business owner or, or, or an entrepreneur that's a friend or family or someone you know that wants to create freedom, make sure you pass them on this YouTube because this YouTube channel is completely free and I'm sharing value and experience of what I've invested over £50,000 into mentors and coaches and you're getting this completely free. <laughs> Rewind back seven years ago, I wish I had this. So I'm very grateful for you. But look, if you are ready to take it to that next level, I have actually got a free training for you in the description, okay? It's a 40-minute training, okay? This training is going to dive deep into how you can create freedom and how you can confidently close deals. I'm excited to see you on that training. Uh, as always, it's your Freedom Lifestyle Coach, Callum Luke Weber, and I'll be seeing you on the next episode. Hasta luego. See you soon. <laughs>